Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing trigonometry and this is lecture number 8. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 7 before watching this part 8. Actually, class mein hum logo ne discuss kiya tha. We had discussed already about the compound angle and that A plus B two angles are in the form of sum. Then how trigonometric function will apply? If there are difference of two angles, then also we had discussed already about it uh, that how trigonometric function will apply. And some formula has been derived on the basis of this. Let us discuss today about the, some more applications of this uh, um, trigonometric function. And today we are going to discuss about multiple and submultiple of angles. So, what is that? Uh, in fact, try to understand that we had discussed this one. Uh, sin a plus b just let me recall you in the last lecture we had discussed sin a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b isn't it suppose if b and angle these two angles are same suppose b and is equal to a then what will happen in lhs it will be a plus a and in rhs it will be sin a cos a and plus cos a sin a cos a sin a these are the same thing sin a cos a and cos a sin a that is product of sin and cos together that is sin a cos a and it can be also written as sin a cos a isn't it so 1 plus 1 become 2 so that will be twice of sin a cos a this is a sin a plus a is 2 a so, multiple of angle A, this is 2A. So, we are discussing today multiple and sub-multiple of angles. Multiple and sub-multiple. Sub-multiple means divided by sub-multiple of angle. angles. Multiple and sub-multiple angles we are discussing today. So, sin 2a, there is a formula which will come out that sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a cos a. In fact, if it is sin 2a, 2 sin a cos a, I can write this sin 2a in another form as well. For example, sin 2a, that can be written as 2 sin a cos a. Can we write like this? 2 sin a divided by cos a multiply by cos a and one more cos a is already there so that will be sin by cos 2 tan a into cos into cos cos square a which will come in denominator and it will be sec square a because 1 by cos square a is sec square a so now the sec square a can be converted in terms of tan and what will be that sin 2a is equal to 2 tan a upon 1 plus tan square a. So that will be another form of sin 2a. So you may remember this both the formula. Now what about sub multiple? If you remember this is sin 2a, sin 2a then 2 sin a cos a. It means if angle is 2a, then this angle is a and a. If this angle is 4a, then that will be 2a and 2a. So similarly, sin 4a can be written as 2 sin 2a cos 2a. Isn't it? We can write because half of this angle, try to understand, half of this angle will come here and here. So sin 4a, so the we can write here. 2 sin 2a cos 2a. Similarly, if there is a sin a, then what you can write? Half of this angle will come here, isn't it? Half of this angle. So that will be 2 sin a by 2 cos a by 2. So this is called sub multiple of angle. a by 2 is sub multiple of angle. Similarly, if there is support sin a by 2, you may write 2 sin a by 4 cos a by 4. So, etc. So, these are not all different formula, but the same formula which has different applications. Right now? So, basically you have to learn in this discussion 
that sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a cos a and one more formula is 2 tan a upon 1 plus tan square a. The another formula is 2 sin a cos a. These are the two formula for sin 2a. And anywhere if it is written sin a, you may write a 2 sin a by 2 cos a by 2. I hope you got it, isn't it? So you may write like this, 2 sin a by 2 cos a by 2. As aap lik sakte hai, okay? Isi tarah se kuch formula or derive karte hai, jaise aapne sikha hai ki cos a plus b is equal to what? What is that? Cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Isn't, isn't it? Remember na? Suppose if b is equal to a, then what will happen? Cos a plus a is equal to cos a into cos a minus sin a into sin a. So that will come up cos a square a minus sin a square a. Isn't it? If you convert this, this is the formula cos 2a. So this is one of the formula of cos 2a that you may write cos 2a is equal to cos 2a is equal to what? 2 cos square a minus sin square a. Right? This is one. If one can write this cos square a as 1 minus sin square a and this is also sin square a. So cos 2a can come up like 1 minus sin square a, 1 minus sin square a, 1 minus 2 sin square a. So you may write another form of cos 2a as cos 2a as let me write here cos 2a is 1 minus 2 sin square a. This is another form of cos 2a. Suppose I want to convert this sin in terms of cos. Then what will happen? In place of sin square a, you may write 1 minus cos square a. So let me write here again. Cos 2a is equal to cos 2a is equal to cos square a minus sin square a. This is the basic formula. We can write cos square a and in place of sin square a, we may write cos square a. So that will come up cos square a minus 1 plus cos square a. Cos square a plus cos square a become 2 cos square a minus 1. So this is another form of cos 2a. 2 cos square a minus 1. So you may write like this as well. Now moreover, cos 2a is cos square a by sin square a. Cos 2a is what? Cos square a minus sin square a. What is in denominator? That is 1. So one can write this cos square a minus sin square a. In place of 1, one can write cos square a plus sin square a. If I can divide by cos square a both the sides, then cos square a divided by cos square a, what is that? 1. And sin square a divided by cos square a is tan square a. And again, same cos square a divided by cos square a is 1. Plus sin square a divided by cos square a is tan square a. So this is another form of cos 2a. So cos 2a has four different formula. And you may should remember all four together. Cos 2a is equal to, one formula is cos square a minus sin square a. Another formula is 1 minus 2 sin square a. Third formula is 2 cos square a minus 1. And the fourth one is 1 minus tan square a upon 1 plus tan square a. Depending upon the requirement, you can use any one of them. Right now, whenever it is required in form of sin, you will use this one. If it is required in form of cos, you can use this one. If it is required to write in form of tan, you can write this one. Now, this formula can be, moreover, some more application will be there. And if you could remember, can remember it directly, that will be more useful. See, if this minus 1 comes this side, it will be 1 plus cos 2a. 
1 plus cos 2a will be 1 plus cos 2a is nothing else but 2 cos square a. Similarly, if 2 sin square a come this side and cos 2a will come this side, then 1 minus cos 2a will be 2 sin square a. So, you may remember this one. Uh, this will be also very useful. Whenever there is a minus sign, that will convert in form of sine. 1 minus cos 2a is 2 sine square a and 1 plus cos 2a then 2 cos square a. If we are talking about the sub multiple say 1 minus cos a, if there is a 2a that will be a, 2a then that will be a. So, similarly if there is a that will be a by 2, 2 sine square a by 2. 1 plus cos a can be written as 2 cos square a by 2. So, 1 minus cos a upon 1 plus cos a is basically come up as tan square x by 2. 1 minus cos 2a and 1 plus cos 2a we come up as what tan square a and similarly 1 minus cos a 1 plus cos a will turn up as sin square tan square a by 2 because that will come numerator as sin square and denominator it will come up as cos square a 2 and 2 will be cancels out. So, that will be tan square a by 2. If you keep all these things in mind it will be very useful for fast calculation otherwise you can ignore this one and you can memorize one with this four, right. So, these are few applications of sin and cos. Similarly, we can have formula for tan and cot as well. So, let me discuss that one also. Tan a plus b, you know formula, tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b. Again, if I could put here b is equal to a, then what will happen? This will happen tan a plus a, that is tan 2a is equal to tan a plus tan a divided by 1 minus tan a into tan a. That will come up here tan 2a is equal to tan 2 tan a. Tan a plus tan a is 2 tan a upon 1 minus tan square a. So, you can memorize this formula and that will be very useful. Similarly, suppose here is a 4a, then that angle will be half and half. So, if suppose tan 4a you have to write, you can write 2 tan 2a upon 1 plus tan is 1 minus, sorry, 1 minus one minus tan square two a. So, if there is a four a you can write two a. Suppose if there is an a then that angle will be half and half. So, like this you can have multiple of twice multiple of two a multiple of two that is two a sin two a cos two a tan two a and there can be different formula for them and it will be very very useful till uh, graduation or even past graduation. So, uh, you, this are the basic terminology and basic formula for trigonometry you should keep in mind and that will be very useful for um, further uh, studies as well in next class age. Even in 12th calculus, in calculus this will be useful. So, you must remember all these formulas. Aap isko, isabko, yaad rakhna chahiye ye sare formula aur ye formula yaad rakhenge तभी आगे जाके अच्छा कर पाएंगे। So ये सब फॉर्मूला आपको याद होना चाहिए, ठीक है? Now next some questions is there. Let me discuss some more formula. तो ये देखा आपने कि मल्टीपल uh, एंगल कैसे फॉर्मूला uh, में कन्वर्ट हो गया। और इसी तरह से कोट टू ए का भी फॉर्मूला होगा। And that will be also like कोट uh, a plus b is equal to what is that? कोट a plus b is equal to फॉर्मूला होता है। cot a plus b cot a plus b is equal to hota hai cot a 
कॉट बी आपने याद किया है माइनस वन अपॉन कॉट बी प्लस कॉट ए ये हमने बताया था अगर b इज इक्वल टू ए रख दिया जाए इफ b इज इक्वल टू ए तो क्या होगा तो ये हो जाएगा कॉट टू ए इज इक्वल टू कॉट ए इंटू कॉट ए कॉट स्क्वायर ए माइनस वन अपॉन कॉट ए प्लस कॉट ए टू कॉट ए तो ये टेन ए का उल्टा ही है इसलिए इसको भी अगर याद रख लेंगे तो अच्छा है नहीं तो टेन में कन्वर्ट करके आराम से निकाल सकते हैं तो फॉर्मूला हमने टू ए का सीख लिया अब जब टू ए का फॉर्मूला हो सकता है तो थ्री ए का भी होना चाहिए अगर तीन का मल्टीपल हो तो क्या होगा तो जैसे मान लीजिए कि साइन थ्री ए है तो साइन थ्री ए का फॉर्मूला क्या होना चाहिए इसका फॉर्मूला होता है थ्री साइन ए माइनस फोर साइन क्यू ए लेकिन कैसे और क्यों आइए हम देखते हैं कि ये क्यों होता है ऐसे तो आपको याद रखना है यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस बट इवन देन यू वॉन्ट टू प्रूव इट यू कैन प्रूव इट साइन थ्री ए इज इक्वल टू वी मे राइट साइन ए प्लस टू ए कैन आई राइट लाइक दिस नाउ दिस इज इन फॉर्म ऑफ ए प्लस बी सो वी कैन राइट एज फॉर आवर एग्जाम साइन ए कॉस बी बी इज टू ए प्लस कॉस ए साइन बी एंड बी इज वॉट नथिंग एल्स बट टू ए सो दिस इज टू टू ए सो साइन ए कॉस बी प्लस कॉस ए साइन बी Now, because we have to find the formula in form of sine, so cos two a, you know, there are four formula, you know, na? There are four formula, and what are those four formula? Cos square a minus sine square a, one minus two sine square a, two cos square a minus one, and one minus tan square a upon one plus tan square a. So, because we need here in function of sine, so we can use formula of sine. वन माइनस टू साइन स्क्वायर है, सो इन प्लेस ऑफ साइन ए वी मे राइट वन माइनस टू साइन स्क्वायर ए, दिस इज़ द फॉर्मूला, एंड कॉस ए साइन टू ए कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू साइन ए कॉस ए, व्हाई नॉट टू टेन ए अपॉन वन माइनस टेन स्क्वायर है, बिकॉज़ वन प्लस टेन स्क्वायर है, बिकॉज़ वी डू नो नीड एनी � that is why we can't use those formula. We can use two sine a cos a. Now what will happen? This will be sine a minus two sine a multiply by two sine square a. Sine a multiply by two sine square a is two sine q a plus two sine a into cos a into cos a cos a square a. And further this cos a square a can be written as one minus sine a square a. So two sine a साइन क्यू ए प्लस टू साइन ए इनटू वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर ए सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एच साइन ए माइनस टू साइन क्यू ए प्लस टू साइन ए माइनस टू साइन क्यू ए इज़न्ट इट सो इफ यू कैन राइट लाइक दिस दिस इज़ साइन 3a. So sin a plus 2 sin a become 3 sin a. Isn't it? And 2 sin q a minus 2 sin q a become 4 sin q a. So sin 3a can be written as 3 sin a minus 4 sin q a. And this is one of the formula. Similarly, you have another formula of cos 3a. Cos 3a is equal to 4 cos q a minus 3 cos a. This can be also proved. How to prove this? Again, you may proceed with the similar fashion that cos 3 a is equal to cos a plus cos 2 a. Cos a plus 2 a. And that will come up in the form of formula cos a plus b. What is that? Cos a cos b, b is 2 a minus sin a sin b sin 2 so that is because we need in form of cos so here cos 2a can be written as 2 cos square a minus 1 and here 2 sin a cos a sin 2a 2 sin a cos a and 1 sin a is already there so 2 sin a square a now 
this can be written as 2 cos q a minus cos a 2 cos q a minus cos a cos a multiply by 2 cos square a is cos q a 2 cos q a and cos a multiply by 1 is cos a minus 2 cos a and sin square a become 1 minus cos square a so that will be 2 cos q a minus cos a 2 cos a 2 cos a and minus minus plus 2 cos q a so 2 cos q a plus 2 cos q a is 4 cos q a and cos a minus 2 cos a is minus 3 cos a and this is what I want to do. So this is another formula. This one is one more formula and you can remember this. Isn't it? Okay, so the next question is, next thing is, this is sin 2a, sin 3a. Now, so these two formula you must remember, right? And uh, these two formula, you should remember this one. And uh, similarly, tan 3a, what will be formula for tan 3a? If someone want to write formula for tan 3a, then what can write? tan 3a is equal to basically formula is 3 tan a minus tan q a upon 1 minus 3 tan a square a. This is the formula. But if you want to prove it, you can prove it. This is the formula and if someone want to prove it, you can prove it. Okay. How to deal with this? Let us see. Tan 3a can be written as tan a plus 2a again in the similar way that is tan a plus b formula tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b tan b right so what will happen now let me write this tan 2a is what you know tan 2a is now it will come up as tan 3a is equal to tan a plus tan 2a is 2 tan a upon 1 minus tan a square a. Can I write like this? Similarly here 1 minus tan a in place of tan 2a we may write 2 tan a upon 1 minus tan a square a. Isn't it? So because 2 tan a is tan 2a is equal to since tan 2a is equal to, you must remember this formula I hope, that is 2 tan a upon 1 minus tan square a. Aapne yaad kya hai isko? Yaad kya hoga? Is liye jahaan jahaan tan 2a tha, maha maha humne ye chez lik diya. Thik hai na? Ab iska LCM lenge to kya hoga? So finally this will come tan 3a is equal to tan a into 1 minus tan square a plus 2 tan a and in denominator it will be 1 minus tan square a. Here also if you multiply with this one, 1 minus tan square a and 2 tan a into tan a minus 2 tan a square a and in denominator it will remain 1 minus tan a square a which will cancel by 1 minus tan a square a in numerator. Yaha par bhi 1 minus tan a square a denominator mein aayega. यहां पर भी आएगा तो दोनों क्या हो जाएंगे कैंसिल अब ये हो गया tan a minus tan square a into tan a that is tan q a plus 2 tan a है ना और 1 minus tan square a minus 2 tan square a 2 tan square a minus tan square a 3 tan square a so that will come up another formula 2 tan a plus tan a is tan 3a. 3 tan a. Tan 3a is equal to tan a plus 2 tan a that is 3 tan a. 
and minus tan q a minus tan q a upon in denominator 1 minus 3 tan square a. So this will be the formula and I hope you remember this. Right now. So similarly other formula can be also derived. Right now. You must remember this too. Three formulas. Okay. Now some more application of this. Let me discuss some more application. Sin a plus b into sin a minus b. Sin a plus b into sin a minus b. That can be written as sin square a minus sin square b. Or even you can write cos square b minus cos square a. Both of them can be written. So this is one more formula and how it will be uh, proved. Let me uh, discuss. So this formula can be written as okay so let us see this sin a plus b LHS into sin a minus b. <coughs> this is what LHS or set. That can be written as sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Isn't it? We may write. Okay. Now sin a plus minus b sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So that will happen a plus b a minus b. What is that? a square minus b square. So sin a cos b whole square minus cos a sin b whole square. So what will happen? That will happen sin a square a cos a square b minus cos a square a sin a square b. Sin a square b. Right? So, but we need formula in terms of sin only if in case you need the formula in form of sin, then you have to remove cos. So cos aapko bhagana padega. So aap cos square a ke badle ke cos square b ke badle kya lik sakte hai? 1 minus sin square b. Aur yaha pe bhi cos nahi chahiye to iske badle 1 minus sin square a lik sakte hai. Aur yeh ho gaya sin square b. Hai na? Hoa ke nahi? Hai na? So, what will happen? Ab isko thoda sa detail mein likhe to kya hoga? Bataiye. Isko aur likhe to yeh ho ga. Sin square a minus sin square a sin square b. Aur yaha se multiply kare to sin square b minus minus plus minus minus plus sin square a sin square b. Ab yeh negative aur yeh positive cancel ho ga. So, what is the sin square a minus sin square b? If you convert the cos, then this is 1 minus cos square a, this is 1 minus cos square b. So, this is 1 minus cos square a minus 1 plus cos square b. Now, this is 1 minus cos square a minus 1 plus cos square b. So, this is 1 cos square b minus cos square a. This is proof of तो इस तरीके से हम इनको भी प्रूव कर सकते हैं। आई होप आपको ये बात समझ में आ गई होगी, है ना? इसी तरह से एक फॉर्मूला और प्रूव कर देते हैं। कॉस ए प्लस बी, कॉस ए माइनस बी, वो क्या होता है? ठीक है? कॉस ए प्लस बी, कॉस ए माइनस बी, इज इक्वल टू कॉस स्क्वायर ए माइनस साइन स्क्वायर बी और sin square cos square b minus sin square a और even can be written as cos square b minus sin square a so this is one more formula which you can memorize and this one is you may remember this right how this will happen in the similar fashion you can prove it that cos a plus b lhs cos a plus b cos a minus b can be written as cos a cos b right 
minus sin a sin b. You know this formula. Again, in similar way, cos a minus b can be written as cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. This is again in form of a plus b a minus b. So it will be a square minus b square. It means cos a square a and cos square b minus sin square a into sin square b. Now, if I want to put this one, prove this one, cos a, then cos b is not required and sin a is not required. We can write cos b is not required, so you may write square a 1 minus sin square b. And if you want sin square b, you don't want cos square a sin square b. So that will come up cos square a minus cos square a sin square b minus sin square b and minus minus plus cos square a sin square b. This one and this one will cancel out. And what is left? Cos square a minus sin square b. So this is the one form. Right now? cos square a minus sin square b. This one is one form which we want to prove it. Now the next one is cos square a minus sin square b. Similarly, if you want to convert this 1 minus sin square a and this one as 1 minus sin square cos square b, then what will happen? Due to change of the sign, it will convert into minus minus plus 1 1 cancel 1 minus sin square a minus 1 plus cos square b. 1 and 1 cancel. That will come up cos square b minus sin square a. Cos a plus b into cos a minus b. So that will be the another formula which you may remember. So that is another proof of this. So you have to remember this that cos a plus b cos a minus b is equal to cos square b minus sin square a and sin square cos square a minus sin square b. So these two formula is very important right cos a plus b cos a minus b is equal to either you can write cos square a minus sin square b or sin cos square b minus sin square a. Hopefully you got this, but this is too much formula. Don't worry about that. That's all our derivations and you should remember this. Aap isse yaad kare achhi tarah se. Agli class mein kuch aur derivations hum karenge. Uske baad questions karenge. Thik hai? To tab tak ke liye, aap mast rahe, khush rahe, usal rahe, anand purvak rahe aur isse formula ko jaroor yaad kare. Do tien baar aap likhoge, isse yaad ho jayega. दो तीन बार लिखोगे दो तीन बार याद करोगे अपने घर में अपने कमरे में जो वहां पर भी आप रहते हैं स्टडी जो आपका टेबल है उसके आसपास से फॉर्मूले लिख करके और चिपका लीजिए और उसको सुबह शाम दो चार दिन देखिए एक हफ्ता ऐसा करने से याद हो जाएगा इसमें कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है याद सबको करना पड़ता है गला सबका सूखता है प्यास सबको लगती है उसी तरह से ये फॉर्मूला भी सबको याद करना ही पड़ता है और याद जितना जल्दी आप करेंगे उतने ही अच्छे क्वेश्चन आप कर पाएंगे उम्मीद है आप जरूर इस पे अमल करेंगे टिल देन बाय बाय गॉड ब्लेस